gather around, good people. Was the night before Tampa and all through the house not a creature was stirring not even a mouse the 2021 season was on the cusp the Dallas Cowboys hmm, would take on the Tampa Bay Bucks no one in their right mind believed that the Dallas Cowboys would have a chance. You know, I've been around for a long time. I say that not to make fun of myself because I'm old. I say that because I've experienced a lot of things in my life. And when you get older, as they say, you get wiser. It's easy to go with the flow of what everybody else is saying. It's more difficult to make your own path in your own way. As everybody has already dug the grave for the Dallas Cowboys, they said, Dak Prescott, he's not that good of a quarterback as Skip Bayless says. He's not great. As people have talked about our defense and literally said, Dan Quinn, you mean he brought two players from a team that was awful, that had some of the biggest collapses in the history of the NFL? An old running back in Zeke Elliott. An overpaid quarterback. A receiver who checks out. A Demarcus Lawrence who, well, <laughs> doesn't give enough sacks. You know, in my long life, I have seen and experienced a lot. I remember back in 2012, an experience that felt much like it does right now. You see, in 2012, the New York Giants were coming off of a, a Super Bowl win against the New England Patriots, my friends. The Giants, with Eli Manning, the two-time Super Bowl MVP. Some wondered, would he have more rings than his brother Peyton? A defense, a defense that confounded Tom Brady. A coach in Tom Coughlin, <laughs> who had changed his ways. That team coming off beating New England was going to have their Super Bowl party. And much like the Christians were fed to the Lions, the Cowboys were going to be fed to the Giants. That night, people said the Dallas Cowboys had no business, no right. But I'm going to tell you, that against all odds, <laughs> I witnessed that Dallas Cowboys team, that eight and eight disaster of a team, come out on that Thursday night up in New York. <laughs> that was the first game that Joe Boo ever went to. The New York Giants. Some thought Eli Manning was the beginning of a dynasty for the Giants. That defense, stout as can be. That game started off kind of funny. I remember because I was in the end zone watching it all unfold. Tony Romo did what Tony Romo sometimes had done. A Tony Ono. He went back, he threw across his body, threw to the left, it was picked off ashore 
pick six, where everybody thought the route was on. Yet, a young Tyron Smith said, oh hell no, no way. Stopped him on the way to the three-yard line. The defense that was much maligned gave the goal line stand of a lifetime. I remember Sean Lee, that was one of his finest moments. That defense held up, held him to a field goal. And I believe to this day, had Tyron Smith not made that stop, the Cowboys get blown out that night. But yet here we are, the first time defending Super Bowl champion, opening up Thursday night football, had lost in their own house. Yeah, I'm old. I've seen a lot. And when you tell me that the Dallas Cowboys have no chance against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I say I've seen it happen, friends. I've seen it happen. I've also seen teams that have gone to the Super Bowl literally fall on their face the next year. The question you have to ask yourself is, can Tom Brady and an olding Tampa Bay team that was a wild card team, didn't win their division, that only beat one team with a winning record last year, can take those aging veterans and roll it back one more? I'm betting they don't. You can call me a fool. You can call me a crazy man. You can call me Crazy Mark. Hell, it was my nickname in college. But I believe that tomorrow night, the Dallas Cowboys get that victory. If they don't, hey, come on in. Tell me I'm a fool. I may be one of the few ones out here who believe in my team. I believe that firepower of Dak Prescott, Amari Cooper, Zeke Elliott, Michael Gallup, and CeeDee Lamb. I believe in this offensive line, even without Zach Martin. I believe that these guys are ready to come together that have been humbled by a year that was a complete disaster. Yeah. Tomorrow night, friends, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Dallas Cowboys. The NFL season, it's here. Watch my defense tomorrow. We turn the page on 2020. You watch. It's a new Dallas Cowboys team. Forget about all those other years. I'm writing a check. Tomorrow, we cash that mother. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's going to be a long day. It's going to be a fun day. And the NFL season will be on. Make sure you tune in for our live stream. Win, lose, or draw. We will be here giving it all. Have a great night, friends. I'm going to go get some rest.